The North Germanic languages make up one of the three branches of the Germanic languages, a sub-family of the Indo-European languages, along with the West Germanic languages and the extinct East Germanic languages. The language group is sometimes referred to as the Nordic languages, a direct translation of the most common term used among Danish, Faroese, Icelandic, Norwegian and Swedish scholars and laypeople. In Scandinavia, the term Scandinavian languages refers specifically to the generally mutually intelligible languages of the three continental Scandinavian countries, and is thus used in a more narrow sense as a subset of the Nordic languages, leaving aside the insular subset of Faroese and Icelandic. Danish, Norwegian and Swedish are also referred to as Scandinavian or Nordic languages, while Faroese and Icelandic are grouped together as insular Nordic languages. The term Scandinavian arose in the 18th century as a result of the early linguistic and cultural Scandinavist movement, referring to the people, cultures, and languages of the three Scandinavian countries and stressing their common heritage. The term, North Germanic languages, is used in comparative linguistics, whereas the term, Scandinavian languages, appears in studies of the modern standard languages and the dialect continuum of Scandinavia. Approximately 20 million people in the Nordic countries speak a Scandinavian language as their native language, including an approximately 5% minority in Finland. Languages belonging to the North Germanic language tree are also commonly spoken on Greenland and, to a lesser extent, by immigrants in North America. Modern languages and dialects The modern languages in this group are Danish Jutlandic dialect North Jutlandic East Jutlandic West Jutlandic South Jutlandic Insular Danish Bornholmsk dialect Swedish South Swedish dialects Scanian Gota dialects Gotland dialects Svea dialects Dalekarlian dialects Elfdalian Norland dialects Jampland dialects East Swedish dialects Finland Swedish Estonian Swedish Norwegian Bakmal written Nynorsk written Trondor dialects Norway and parts of Sweden East Norwegian dialects Norway and minor parts of Sweden West Norwegian dialects North Norwegian dialects Faroese Icelandic Topic History Topic <laughs> <laughs> Distinction from East and West Germanic The Germanic languages are traditionally divided into three groups, West, East and North Germanic. Their exact relation is difficult to determine from the sparse evidence of runic inscriptions, and they remained mutually intelligible to some degree during the migration period, so that some individual varieties are difficult to classify. Dialects with the features assigned to the Northern group formed from the Proto-Germanic language in the late pre-Roman Iron Age in Northern Europe. At last around the year 200 AD, speakers of the North Germanic branch became distinguishable from the other Germanic language speakers. The early development of this language branch is attested through runic inscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> Features shared with West Germanic The North Germanic group is characterized by a number of phonological and morphological innovations shared with West Germanic. The retraction of Proto-Germanic e, also written a, to a Proto-Germanic asterisk gerund year greater than Northwest Germanic asterisk gerund greater than North Germanic asterisk era greater than Old Norse r and West Germanic asterisk hara greater than Old High German jar Old English gear j ash r versus Gothic jar. The raising of to o and word finally to u. The original vowel remained when nasalized asterisk on and when before z and was then later lowered to. Proto-Germanic asterisk geo gift e beta greater than Northwest Germanic asterisk gu greater than. North Germanic asterisk gjavu greater than with u umlaut asterisk jovu greater than on jof and. 
West Germanic asterisk Gabu greater than OE Gifu, CF. Goth Jiba vowel lowering. Proto Germanic asterisk Tungan tongue two greater than late Northwest Germanic asterisk Tunga greater than asterisk Tunga greater than on Tunga OHG Zunga OE Tunge unstressed a greater than E versus Goth Tugo Proto Germanic Gen dot SG asterisk Geos of a gift E beta Z greater than late Northwest Germanic asterisk Gies greater than North Germanic asterisk Javas greater than on G Jafar and West Germanic asterisk Geba greater than OHG Geba, OE Gief unstressed a greater than E, versus Goth Gibos. The development of I umlaut. The roticism of Z, to R, with presumably a rhotic fricative of some kind as an earlier stage. This change probably affected West Germanic much earlier and then spread from there to North Germanic, but failed to reach East Germanic which had already split off by that time. This is confirmed by an intermediate stage, clearly attested in late runic East Norse at a time when West Germanic had long merged the sound with r. The development of the demonstrative pronoun ancestral to English this. Germanic asterisk sa, so, at this, that cf. On sa m, su f, at n, o e se, co, at, goth sa m, so f, at a n, plus proximal asterisk c here cf. On C, OHG say, Goth Sai, Lo, Behold, Runic Norse, Nam. SG, Sa C, Gen. SC, Dat. I'm C, etc., with declension of the first part. Fixed form with declension on the second part, on Sia, SEM, OHG these M, OESM, EOS F, is N. Some have argued that after East Germanic broke off from the group, the remaining Germanic languages, the Northwest Germanic languages, divided into four main dialects, North Germanic, and the three groups conventionally called West Germanic, namely, North Sea Germanic, Ingvianic languages, ancestral to the Anglo Frisian languages and Low German. Vaser Rhine Germanic Low Franconian languages Elbe Germanic High German languages inability of the tree model to explain the existence of some features in the West Germanic languages stimulated the development of an alternative the so-called wave model Under this view the properties that the West Germanic languages have in common separate from the North Germanic languages are not inherited from a proto-West Germanic language, but rather spread by language contact among the Germanic languages spoken in Central Europe, not reaching those spoken in Scandinavia. <laughs> North Germanic features Some innovations are not found in West and East Germanic, such as sharpening of Geminate, JJ, and WW, according to Holtzmann's law, occurred also in East Germanic, but with a different outcome. Proto-Germanic asterisk twajon, of two, greater than Old Norse Tvegya, Gothic twadji, but greater than Old High German Zwio, word final devoicing of stop consonants. Proto-Germanic asterisk band, I, he bound, greater than asterisk bant greater than Old West Norse bat, Old East Norse bant, but Old English band, Loss of medial, h, with compensatory lengthening of the preceding vowel and the following consonant, if present. Proto-Germanic asterisk notan, night, accusative, greater than asterisk natu greater than, by u umlaut, asterisk natu greater than old Norse not, i, greater than, before, r, but not, z. Proto-Germanic asterisk syras, sore, greater than asterisk Sarah's greater than asterisk Sars greater than Old Norse Sar, but greater than asterisk Sarah greater than Old High German Esser. With original, Z, Proto-Germanic asterisk Geises greater than asterisk Geese greater than Old Norse Geyer. General loss of word final, N, following the loss of word final short vowels which are still present in the earliest runic inscriptions. Proto-Germanic asterisk Bindanen greater than asterisk Binden greater than Old Norse Binda, but greater than Old English Binden. This also affected stressed syllables, Proto-Germanic asterisk in greater than Old Norse I Vowel breaking of E, to, J, except after W, J or L, C, gift, above. The diphthong, E, U, was also affected, also L, shifting to, Ju, at an early stage. This diphthong is preserved in Old Gutnish and survives in Modern Gutnish. In other Norse dialects, the j onset and length remained, but the diphthong simplified resulting in variously, ju, or, jo. 
This affected only stressed syllables. The word asterisk ek, I, which could occur both stressed and unstressed, appears varyingly as ek unstressed, with no breaking and jack stressed, with breaking throughout Old Norse. Loss of initial, j, c, year, above, and also of, with before a round vowel. Proto-Germanic asterisk wolf is greater than North Germanic ulfz, Old Norse ulfr. The development of u umlaut, which rounded stressed vowels when u, or, with followed in the next syllable. This followed vowel breaking, with ya, j, being u umlauted to jo, j. <laughs> Middle Ages After the Old Norse period, the North Germanic languages developed into an East Scandinavian branch, consisting of Danish and Swedish, and, secondly, a West Scandinavian branch, consisting of Norwegian, Faroese and Icelandic and, thirdly, an Old Guttnish branch. Norwegian settlers brought Old West Norse to Iceland and the Faroe Islands around 800. Of the modern Scandinavian languages, written Icelandic is closest to this ancient language. An additional language, known as Norn, developed on Orkney and Shetland after Vikings had settled there around 800, but this language became extinct around 1700. In medieval times, speakers of all the Scandinavian languages could understand one another to a significant degree, and it was often referred to as a single language, called the Danish tongue, until the 13th century by some in Sweden and Iceland. In the 16th century, many Danes and Swedes still referred to North Germanic as a single language, which is stated in the introduction to the first Danish translation of the Bible and in Olus Magnus A description of the northern peoples. Dialectal variation between West and East in Old Norse however was certainly present during the Middle Ages and three dialects had emerged, Old West Norse, Old East Norse and Old Guttnish. Old Icelandic was essentially identical to Old Norwegian, and together they formed the Old West Norse dialect of Old Norse and were also spoken in settlements in Faroe Islands, Ireland, Scotland, the Isle of Man, and Norwegian settlements in Normandy. The Old East Norse dialect was spoken in Denmark, Sweden, settlements in Russia, England, and Danish settlements in Normandy. The Old Guttnish dialect was spoken in Gotland and in various settlements in the East. Yet, by 1600, another classification of the North Germanic language branches had arisen from a syntactic point of view, dividing them into an insular group Icelandic and Faroese and a continental group Danish, Norwegian and Swedish. The division between insular Nordic Onordiska, Onordisk, Oynordisk, and continental Scandinavian Scandinavisk is based on mutual intelligibility between the two groups and developed due to different influences, particularly the political union of Denmark and Norway 1536 which led to significant Danish influence on central and eastern Norwegian dialects Bokmal or Dano -Norwegian. Demographics The North Germanic languages are national languages in Denmark, Iceland, Norway and Sweden, whereas the non-Germanic Finnish is spoken by the majority in Finland. In inter-Nordic contexts, texts are today often presented in three versions, Finnish, Icelandic, and one of the three languages Danish, Norwegian and Swedish. Another official language in the Nordic countries is Greenlandic in the Eskimo Aleut family, the sole official language of Greenland. In southern Jutland in southwestern Denmark, German is also spoken by the North Schleswig Germans, and German is a recognized minority language in this region. German is the primary language among the Danish minority of southern Schleswig, and likewise, Danish is the primary language of the North Schleswig Germans. Both minority groups are highly bilingual. Traditionally, Danish and German were the two official languages of Denmark-Norway, laws and other official instruments for use in Denmark and Norway were written in Danish, and local administrators spoke Danish or Norwegian. German was the administrative language of Holstein and the Duchy of Schleswig. Sami languages form an unrelated group that has coexisted with the North Germanic language group in Scandinavia since prehistory. Sami, like Finnish, is part of the group of the Uralic languages. During centuries of interaction, Finnish and Sami have imported many more loanwords from North Germanic languages than vice versa. Classification 
In historical linguistics, the North Germanic family tree is divided into two main branches, West Scandinavian languages Norwegian, Faroese and Icelandic and East Scandinavian languages Danish and Swedish, along with various dialects and varieties. The two branches are derived from the Western and Eastern dialect groups of Old Norse respectively. There was also an Old Gutnish branch spoken on the island of Gotland. The continental Scandinavian languages Swedish, Norwegian and Danish were heavily influenced by Middle Low German during the period of Hanseatic expansion. Another way of classifying the languages, focusing on mutual intelligibility rather than the tree of life model, posits Norwegian, Danish and Swedish as continental Scandinavian and Faroese and Icelandic as insular Scandinavian. Because of the long political union between Norway and Denmark, moderate and conservative Norwegian Bakmal share most of the Danish vocabulary and grammar, and was nearly identical to written Danish until the spelling reform of 1907. For this reason, Bakmal and its unofficial, more conservative variant Riksmal are sometimes considered East Scandinavian, and Nynorsk West Scandinavian via the West East Division shown above. However, Danish has developed a greater distance between the spoken and written versions of the language, so the differences between spoken Norwegian and spoken Danish are somewhat more significant than the difference between their respective written forms. Written Danish is relatively close to the other continental Scandinavian languages, but the sound developments of spoken Danish include reduction and assimilation of consonants and vowels, as well as the prosodic feature called stod in Danish, developments which have not occurred in the other languages though the stod corresponds to the different tones in Norwegian and Swedish, which are tonal languages. Scandinavians are widely expected to understand some of the other spoken Scandinavian languages. There may be some difficulty particularly with elderly dialect speakers, however public radio and television presenters are often well understood by speakers of the other Scandinavian countries, although there are various regional differences of mutual intelligibility for understanding mainstream dialects of the languages between different parts of the three language areas. Sweden left the Kalmar Union in 1523 due to conflicts with Denmark, leaving two Scandinavian units, the Union of Denmark-Norway ruled from Copenhagen, Denmark and Sweden including present-day Finland. The two countries took different sides during several wars until 1814, when the Denmark-Norway unit was disestablished, and made different international contacts. This led to different borrowings from foreign languages Sweden had a francophone period, for example the old Swedish word vindoga window was replaced by fonster from Middle Low German, whereas native vindu was kept in Danish. Norwegians, who spoke and still speak the Norwegian dialects derived from Old Norse, would say vindoga or similar. The written language of Denmark-Norway however, was based on the dialect of Copenhagen and thus had vindu. On the other hand, the word begind began now written begind in Norwegian Bakmal was borrowed into Danish and Norwegian, whereas native Borja was kept in Swedish. Even though standard Swedish and Danish were moving apart, the dialects were not influenced that much. Thus Norwegian and Swedish remained similar in pronunciation, and words like Borja were able to survive in some of the Norwegian dialects whereas Vindoga survived in some of the Swedish dialects. Nynorsk incorporates much of these words, like Birja cf. Swedish Borja, Danish Begind, Veke cf. SW Vetska, Dan Uge and Vatn SW Vatten, Dan Vand whereas Bakmal has retained the Danish forms Begind, Uke, Van. As a result, Nynorsk does not conform the above model, since it shares a lot of features with Swedish. According to the Norwegian linguist Arne Torp, the Nynorsk project which had as a goal to re-establish a written Norwegian language would have been much harder to carry out if Norway had been in a union with Sweden instead of with Denmark, simply because the differences would have been smaller. Currently, English loanwords are influencing the languages. A 2005 survey of words used by speakers of the Scandinavian languages showed that the number of English loanwords used in the languages has doubled during the last 30 years and is now 1.2%. Icelandic has imported fewer English words than the other North Germanic languages, despite the fact that it is the country that uses English most. Mutual intelligibility The mutual intelligibility between the continental Scandinavian languages is asymmetrical. Various studies have shown Norwegian speakers to be the best in Scandinavia at understanding other languages within the language group. 
According to a study undertaken during 2002 to 2005 and funded by the Nordic Cultural Fund, Swedish speakers in Stockholm and Danish speakers in Copenhagen have the greatest difficulty in understanding other Nordic languages. The study, which focused mainly on native speakers under the age of 25, showed that the lowest ability to comprehend another language is demonstrated by youth in Stockholm in regard to Danish, producing the lowest ability score in the survey. The greatest variation in results between participants within the same country was also demonstrated by the Swedish speakers in the study. Participants from Malmö, located in the southernmost Swedish province of Scania demonstrated a better understanding of Danish than Swedish speakers to the north. Access to Danish television and radio, direct trains to Copenhagen over the Orsund Bridge and a larger number of cross-border commuters in the Orsund region contribute to a better knowledge of spoken Danish and a better knowledge of the unique Danish words among the region's inhabitants. According to the study, youth in this region were able to understand the Danish language slightly better than the Norwegian language. But they still could not understand Danish as well as the Norwegians could, demonstrating once again the relative distance of Swedish from Danish. Youth in Copenhagen had a very poor command of Swedish, showing that the Orsund connection was mostly one way. The results from the study of how well native youth in different Scandinavian cities did when tested on their knowledge of the other continental Scandinavian languages are summarized in table format, reproduced below. The maximum score was 10.0. Faroese speakers of the insular Scandinavian languages group are even better than the Norwegians at comprehending two or more languages within the continental Scandinavian languages group, scoring high in both Danish which they study at school and Norwegian and having the highest score on a Scandinavian language other than their native language, as well as the highest average score. Icelandic speakers, in contrast, have a poor command of Norwegian and Swedish. They do somewhat better with Danish, as they are taught Danish in school. When speakers of Faroese and Icelandic were tested on how well they understood the three continental Scandinavian languages, the test results were as follows Maximum score 10.0 Vocabulary The North Germanic languages share many lexical, grammatical, phonological, and morphological similarities, to a more significant extent than the West Germanic languages do. These lexical, grammatical, and morphological similarities can be outlined in the table below. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Language boundaries. Given the aforementioned homogeneity, there exists some discussion on whether the continental group should be considered one or several languages. The Scandinavian languages in the narrow sense, i.e. the languages of Scandinavia are often cited as proof of the aphorism, a language is a dialect with an army and navy. The differences in dialects within the countries of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark can often be greater than the differences across the borders, but the political independence of these countries leads continental Scandinavian to be classified into Norwegian, Swedish, and Danish in the popular mind as well as among most linguists. The generally agreed upon language border is, in other words, politically shaped. This is also because of the strong influence of the standard languages, particularly in Denmark and Sweden. Even if the language policy of Norway has been more tolerant of rural dialectal variation in formal language, the prestige dialect often referred to as Eastern Urban Norwegian, spoken mainly in and around the Oslo region, is sometimes considered normative. The influence of a standard Norwegian is nevertheless less so than in Denmark and Sweden, since the prestige dialect in Norway has moved geographically several times over the past 200 years. The organized formation of Nynorsk out of Western Norwegian dialects after Norway became independent of Denmark in 1814 intensified the politico-linguistic divisions. The Nordic Council has on several occasions referred to the Germanic languages spoken in Scandinavia as the Scandinavian language. Singular, for instance, the official newsletter of the Nordic Council is written in the Scandinavian language. The creation of one unified written language has been considered as highly unlikely, given the failure to agree upon a common standardized language in Norway. However, there is a slight chance of some uniformization of spelling between Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Family tree 
All North Germanic languages are descended from Old Norse. Divisions between subfamilies of North Germanic are rarely precisely defined, most form continuous clines, with adjacent dialects being mutually intelligible and the most separated ones not. Old Norse West Scandinavian Faroese Greenlandic Norse extinct, Icelandic Norn extinct, Norwegian Nordnorsk Northern Norway, Bodo dialect Bodo, Bronoi dialect Bronoi, Helgeland dialect Helgeland, Other dialects, Trondersk Trondelag, Fossen dialect Fossen, Harjital dialect Harhadalin. Jampland dialects Jampland province wide linguistic similarity with the Trondersk dialects in Norway Meldal dialect Meldal Tidal dialect Tidal Other dialects Vestlands western and southern Norway West Vestlande Bergen dialect Bergen Haugesund dialect Haugesund Jæersk dialect Jæren district Karmoy dialect Karmoy Nordmore dialects, Nordmore. Sundalsora dialect, Sundalsora. Romsdal dialect, Romsdal. Sandnes dialect, Sandnes. Sogn dialect, Sogn district. Sunmore dialect, Sunmore. Stavanger dialect, Stavanger. Stryler dialect, Midhorland district. South, Sorlande. Arendal dialect, Arendal region. Valle Setesdalisk dialect, Upper Setesdal, Valle. Other dialects: Ostlands, Eastern Norway. Flatbygd dialects, Lowland districts. Vikaversk dialects, Viken district. Andebu dialect, Andebu. Bohuslan dialect, Bohuslan province, influenced by Swedish in retrospective. Grenland dialect, Grenland district. Oslo dialect, Oslo. Midtostland dialects, Mid East districts, Ringerika dialects, Ringerika district, Honfoss dialect, Honfoss, Adal dialect, Adal, Opland dialect, Oplandine district, Hedmark dialects, Hedmark, Solung dialect, Solor, Hadeland dialect, Hadeland district, Osterdal dialect, Viken district, Sarna IDRE dialect, Sarna and IDRE. Midland dialects, Midland districts, Gudbrandsdal dialect, Gudbrandsdalen, Opland and Upper Faldal, Hedmark, Hallingdal Valdres dialects, Hallingdal, Valdres, Hallingdal dialect, Valdres dialect, Valdres district, Telemark Numedal dialects, Telemark and Numedal, Bow dialect, Other dialects, East Scandinavian, Danish. Insular Danish Omal, East Danish Bornholmsk along with former East Danish dialects in Bleken, Halland and Skane Skanian dialect as well as the southern parts of Småland now generally considered South Swedish dialects Jutlandic or Judish in Jutland Northern Jutlandic East Jutlandic West Jutlandic Southern Jutlandic in Southern Jutland and Southern Schleswig Urban East Norwegian, generally considered a Norwegian dialect. Swedish, Sveamal, Svealand, Norland dialects, Norland, including Westrobothnian and Kallax. Gotamal, Gotaland. Swedish dialects in Ostrobothnia, Finland and Estonia. Gutnish, Gotland. Other dialects. Dalekarlian Dalarna, including Elfdalian, which is considered a separate language from Swedish, Alvdalen locality. Topic. Classification difficulties The Jamplandic dialects share many characteristics with both Trondersk and with Norlandskamal. Due to this ambiguous position, it is contested whether Jamplandic belongs to the West Norse or the East Norse group. Elfdalian Alvdalen speech, generally considered a Sveamal dialect, today has an official orthography and is, because of a lack of mutual intelligibility with Swedish, considered as a separate language by many linguists. 
traditionally regarded as a Swedish dialect, but by several criteria closer to West Norse dialects. Elfdalian is a separate language by the standard of mutual intelligibility. Traveller Danish, Rodi, and Swedish Romani are varieties of Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish with Romani vocabulary or Para Romani known collectively as the Skandoromani language. They are spoken by Norwegian and Swedish travellers. The Skando-Romani varieties in Sweden and Norway combine elements from the dialects of Western Sweden, Eastern Norway and Trondersk. Written norms of Norwegian Norwegian has two official written norms, Bokmal and Nynorsk. In addition, there are some unofficial norms. Riksmal is more conservative than Bakmal that is, closer to Danish and is used to various extents by numerous people, especially in the cities and by the largest newspaper in Norway, Aftenposten. On the other hand, Hognorsk High Norwegian is similar to Nynorsk and is used by a very small minority. See also Comparison of Norwegian Bakmal and Standard Danish Ingvianic languages Low Franconian languages Gender in Danish and Swedish High German languages Scanian dialect Savorsk East Germanic languages West Germanic languages South Germanic languages <laughs>